Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Danica and I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark mostly. I do also sell on eBay and I am listing a little bit more on Facebook Marketplace, just mostly um, hard goods. I'm redecorating my living room so anything that doesn't fit with the redecoration is getting listed on Marketplace but mostly selling clothes on Poshmark Canada, Poshmark US, and eBay. And you might be telling yourself, she looks like she just got out of the shower. And I did. But I was just too excited to do this haul for you guys. So um, yeah, I went to the thrift stores on Wednesday and Thursday. Today is Friday. I think I went to three stores each day, three or four. Um, I was super picky, so this is everything that made the cut. Um, so yeah, I haven't processed any of this yet, so hopefully everything is in good shape once I see it under the natural light here in my home. So let's jump right in. First thing I grabbed were these Lululemon Wonder Unders. I think they're Wonder Unders. And they're just like a purple pattern and they are a size six. And these feel like they're almost brand new. All the seams look really good. Next, I always, always, always pick these up unless they were priced really crazy, but they weren't. They are Seven for All Mankind Dojos. This is, like I always say, this is like the only style of Seven for All Mankind jeans I will really pick up. Um, the other ones, I'll grab at the bins if they're still an okay style and in good condition. But dojos are, I grab every single time. And these are a size 28. And these will usually go for anywhere between 50 and $80 which is fun. Next, I had to grab this anytime I see anything with New Orleans on it. I have to grab it. New Orleans is one of my favorite cities. I've been there, I think, three times. Um, I have a friend who lives there, so I go visit them as often as I can, but I haven't been now in um, almost two years, over two years. That's so sad. Um, but anyway, so it just says New Orleans French Quarter. And this is a size extra, extra large. I would be inclined to say this is vintage just because of the tag. But I don't know much about um, graphic t-shirts. There's no date on it. Sometimes they'll have like a little year stamp down here but this one doesn't have one so i can't say for sure i'll just call it retro next this lululemon sports bra and this one is a size 10 i think yeah size 10 and let's see if i can show you so it's got this like uh floral pattern on the front and the like crisscross straps on the back. It's so pretty. Uh, I can't show it. It's so floppy. <laughs> um, so yeah, really excited about that. And then I, if you follow my closet or watched one of my recent haul videos, I had found a vase with this kind of pattern on it. And Oh, there's a little finch on my barbecue. Um, and I found, well, they put the price right on this one, but I found like the sugar bowl and the creamer. I think I'm gifting this to um, my friend for her birthday. I don't know. I just feel like it's something she would really, really like. I haven't decided yet. And then there's this wicker magazine rack. Um, I think I'm going to be using this as like my shipping station storage um it's not in the best shape there's some some of this stuff is loose um but maybe with some 
what is it called that glue like e9000 glue um maybe i can kind of get the pieces back where they need to go okay now this is from a goodwill i went to yesterday i only grabbed two things first one being this pair of citizens of humanity um, rocket jeans. These usually do okay. I got them because they were half off. Citizens of Humanity is not doing the best for me anymore. Um, it used to just fly out of my closet, but it's kind of slower now. This is a smaller size. They're a 26, but like I said, they were half off, so I went ahead and grabbed them. They're in really, really, really good condition. Nice dark wash. Skinny jeans are still doing okay, in my opinion. love those and the second pair of jeans I got at that Goodwill are these acne jeans I found acne jeans forever ago once but they were a horrible style like I only picked them up because it was my first time finding it and I got excited but they were like this gray bootleg or boot cut um jean and they took forever to sell i finally just sold them for like 30 bucks someone sent me an offer and i could not accept it fast enough um but anyway these are a size 28 and um yeah i don't know what the style is called but they're just like a straight leg maybe a little bit tapered but and these are i forget what if i said size 28 oh they're the hex Lena in yeah so this is what the little patch on the back looks like and yeah I would say these are a straight leg go straight down so that's good straight legs are kind of having a moment right now I think I love the straight leg look okay here is a Babaton, which is an Aritzia brand. It's a size medium and it's just like a faux suede tank top. Um, I did pay up for this, but I love getting any Aritzia brand that's bigger than like an extra extra small. Like usually when you, I find a lot of extra small and extra extra small. So I like grabbing it when it's, I hate calling medium a bigger size, but um, I just mean like bigger than what I usually find. I love this dress. Love, 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 love. It's a size extra large. Not all the buttons are buttoned down, but it's just like this super pretty floral, like crepey material. I can't wait to try this on. Um, button down dress and it's got this, these ties to waist it up, or to tie it at the waist are you kidding me like this is summer like this hits me at about the knee it's gorgeous I'm obsessed um, I don't know anything about this brand I haven't looked it up yet but this is what it looks like if you know anything about it um, let me know in the comments obviously I will be researching it I just for whatever like I was happy enough with the style of it that I didn't bother looking up the brand these I bought for myself they're just um, Brody brand which is like 90s early 2000s um, vintage platform sneakers slip-ons um, I had bought a pair of like Sam Edelman circus espadrilles on Poshmark it was one of the first things I bought and I wore them to death like I wore them they were falling apart so I ordered another pair of espadrilles on Poshmark from um, Aldo brand and the seller said they were leather I received them they were definitely not leather but I just kept them because I needed a pair of shoes like just like casual shoes um, but I just like don't love them so It'll be nice to have these for the summer to kind of switch out for the espadrilles. I just think they're so cute. They're so chunky. And then there's this big wicker basket that I'm gonna be keeping 
um, to put my blankets in. Okay, we're almost done. So at the same store I got that big basket at, I ended up finding, I'm just gonna put a picture of it here because I can't, I don't have space for it in my living room right now. It's just living in my bedroom. Um, it is a bamboo table. I, it just is missing the glass top. I thought it was a chair, honestly, when I saw it at the thrift store and I was so excited. I thought it was just missing the cushion. I'm like, I can replace that no problem. And then I got home and I'm like, this is a little tall to be a chair. Like, this can't be a chair. Um, so I realized it was definitely a table. I checked on Marketplace and comps for a table like that are like $125. So um, I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it yet. I have someone coming for my old coffee table today and my friend's boyfriend is gonna help me bring my love seat to Goodwill to donate. So once those things are out of my living room, it'll be easier for me to visualize where I want things and how I want things. Cause right now it just feels so cluttered. So anyway, sorry, loud bag. On to the, so that was all yesterday. So this is what I got Wednesday. First things first, these are the first things I found. They are Acne Studios, it's crazy. I've only found that one pair of jeans, like I said, years ago, and then two days in a row, I find shoes, and then the next day, um, jeans. So these are called, uh, I forget what they're called, but I have the style name figured out. Um, <laughs> Anyway, they're supposed to come with like a plaque on the laces here, so that's obviously missing, but I think they're still going to do okay. When I looked up comps, they were not as good as I was expecting, but um, you know, it'll be alright. I'll clean them up really nice. I love how it says made in Italy right in the sole there. That's just like luxe, you know. So anyway, they're a size seven. My sister is asking me about these. We'll see. We'll see. Next, I low key don't even remember what I got that day, so this is fun. Um, these cropped um, dance studio Lululemon pants. They are, I think, a size eight. Yep. Um, and they're in really good shape. These usually sell really quick for me. So this ugh, it needs to be washed. There's like a fair amount of pet hair on there. Next are these Spanx black faux leather moto leggings. And I've already got Two people asking me about these on Instagram because I posted them in my story and like right away two of my Insta friends were like, let me know when you post those, how much do you want for them? And I'm like, I don't even know yet. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. Next, I'm pretty sure this might be the first time I found Mother Jeans in Calgary. I was so excited. All I saw was this. And I knew what it was. <laughs> it's crazy, like how you just start learning and um, recognizing things before you even like see the name, you know what it is. Like those um, Chloe flats that I found, I just saw the scalloped edge and I knew exactly what it was. And it's funny because like two, three years ago, I would have never, never known. So, Anyway, moving on, these are the Mother Looker jeans, um, hold on, they have been cuffed at the bottom, but I don't think they're supposed to be, and they're just like distressed, let me show you. So this knee is busted, it's probably not supposed to be ripped like this, but that's okay, um, I think that'll be fine. And then this knee just had like a little bit of distressing. 
so uh, it's got like maybe a little tiny bit of puckering if you can see like right in here but it's not bad and when you wear jeans that have puckering like that you can't see it um so that's what i usually just write in the comments there's some slight puckering not visible when worn because that's the truth <laughs> next oh yeah are these madewell jeans these are in great shape um they are the nine inch high riser skinny skinny and they are a 27 tall so they're just um black denim skinny skinny jeans i think this might be the first time i have found madewell jeans in calgary and it might be the first time I've found Madewell jeans that were in good enough condition to pick up. I remember I used to find them in Portland every once in a while, but I don't think I ever picked them up. And then I found a pair of Madewell jeans last week, I think, at the thrift store. And like the inner thighs were just destroyed. I'm like, these shouldn't even be on the floor. These shouldn't have even been donated. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> next is this Mark by Mark Jacobs purse. It's just a little black leather crossbody. So cute. Um, yeah, pretty self-explanatory it's in great shape the leather is super soft just needs like a quick wipe down on the outside and the inside is okay next oh yeah i got these for myself for the calgary stampede um if they have one this year i've been looking for boots for myself i've been looking on poshmark i almost bought a pair of freebirds i almost bought a few pairs of like there's a few pairs of fries I had in my likes on Poshmark and I'm happy I held out because I found these beauties in my size um yeah so these will be you know with a little pair of Daisy Dukes and a cute top you're set if we have a stampede this year if we if they announce we're not having a stampede I'll probably just sell them to be honest there is some paint here but i can probably clean it off um i think it's paint actually it's like coming off just me scraping my nail against it it's almost like a yogurt <laughs> dried yogurt consistency so that'll be fine i tried them on and like they kind of fit weird on my foot i don't know if they're wide they're in 9b and the insoles are not in the best condition. They're kind of like peeling off. But maybe I can glue that back down. Should be able to. Anyway. Um, yeah, I've found two pairs of fries and one pair of Doc Martens in my size at that same store before. So I don't know if it's like the same person donating who's my size. If that's the case, thank you, miss. I really appreciate it because and those weren't even priced I have paid upwards of $40 for fries at Value Village these ones were nowhere near that which is great next I got this little Lululemon I don't know if it's a swim top or a sports bra either way so cute and it's a size eight. It's got like on the back, it's got like this little like peekaboo. Next, I got this little wicker basket. If you can't tell the theme of my living room as I'm redecorating, it's just like super wicker, boho, tr exactly what's trendy right now. Um, but yeah, I don't know what I'm going to put in here, but I, it was just too cute to leave. Next, this shirt, if you, I did a little car haul when I got 
into my car from this door. So this door, I got the acne shoes, this top, and I think um, just what's left in my bag. I didn't get very much, but it's just like this super cute, it's probably a crop top or like just probably hits right at below the natural waist. I didn't find any kind of tag in here. Um, oh, here's one. So there is an RN number I can maybe look up, but it's just like so cute. And the middle of the flowers have little pearls in them or like probably faux pearls. There might be some missing. I didn't look too closely, but I just thought it was so adorable. Okay, so only the front has the pearls, the back doesn't. And it looks like they're all there. So that's good. It's probably a size small. Like it looks like it would be a little tight on me. And then I just got these, like a whole bunch of these to work on my basket wall. And then whatever's left over, I'll just put on Marketplace and those will sell 20 bucks, 10, 20 bucks. Um, so yeah, I think I did okay. I was kind of hoping to get more, but, um, I just, when I'm at the regular thrift store, I'm just way pickier because, you know, at the bins, I can be a little bit more lenient. If I get home and I find flaws, not a big deal. I paid a dollar per item, but at the thrift store, you're like actually making a little bit of an investment. Um, so it's best to, you know, look up comps. Now I'm at a point where like that dress and the shirt that I showed, I have no idea what comps are, but I just pick them up really based on style and I'm confident in my closet style and like what I can sell. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm just really excited about everything and now I need to get to listing. So, I also bought a waffle a waffle maker, but it's not for me. It's for my friend Shauna. So, it's so funny when you become <clears throat> a reseller, you almost become like a personal shopper for people in your lives too. Like it happens often. I'll like take pictures of stuff I find and like either send it to my mom, send it to my sister, send it to my dad, send and and be like, "Do you want this for this much?" Um, and then Shauna had told me she was looking for a waffle maker. So every time I went to the thrift store, I was always looking for waffle makers. And finally I found one that, um, was good for her. And, um, yeah. So you're just like always on the lookout for whatever anyone told you they're looking for. And so, yeah. All right. That's everything I got. Let me know how you think I did. Um, and, um, yeah, I'll see you Monday for my what sold video. And so I hope everyone has a great weekend and I'll see you next week. Bye.